What is the significance of the gesture of Jesus? Why did Jesus say that they had converted the temple into a den of robbers? Why did the high priest react to the words of Jesus? All these questions and more answered during today's episode of Daily Reflections. Jesus is an example of the true prophet. He speaks as a messenger of God and is indeed God's own son. He stands as a counter witness to all that is against truth, love and justice and as such inevitably incurs the anger and hostility of those who have power. The gospel emphasizes on the gesture of Jesus. His action does not have political value but rather prophetic significance. The great purpose of Jesus' journey to Jerusalem is to enter the temple. The prophecy of Malachi is fulfilled with Jesus' entrance. Jesus' gesture of driving out the sellers recalls Isaiah 56 verse 7 which says, My house will be a house of prayer. Jesus returns the temple to the Father. We never think of Jesus losing his temper. Yet, that is what he did when he entered the temple and saw it was set up like a marketplace. Anger is not a bad thing as some of us might believe. It is what we do with the anger that can cause pain and upset. Jesus says that they have converted the temple into a den of robbers. The commercial and business activity has made the temple a den of robbers and has deprived it of its only function to provide a dwelling for the presence of God. The image of den of robbers serves Jesus to condemn the material traffic on the one side and the dishonest traffic of trade or business that was carried out in the temple. Jesus demands a complete change in order to purify the temple from all of these negative human things and to make it a place for the authentic service to God. In driving out those merchants of trade and business, the prophecy of Zechariah is fulfilled. The temple is not work done by human hands and the presence of God is not bound to its material aspect. The contrast between the ideal and the reality struck Jesus forcibly. The holy house had become a commercial opportunity. The needs of the hungry people were ignored by the scheming authorities. And then we see the reaction of the high priest and the scribes. Because of this preaching, the high priest and the scribes together with the leading citizens tried to do away with Jesus. Within this temporary place of the temple, Jesus carries out a highly significant teaching. The diffusion of the word of grace which Jesus bears extends like an arc. It begins with his opposition when he was still only 12 years old in the temple among the doctors of the law. The leaders of the people do not intend to suppress Jesus for having ruined the progress of the economic affairs of that time. Rather, the reasons go back to his previous teaching activities. Jesus claims something and this causes a reaction from the high priest and the scribes. The church, in its communities and through individuals, is called to continue the mission of counter-witness. This will lead to both support and hostility. This is something we should not at all be surprised, nor something that we should try to avoid. Our only concern must be always to speak the truth in love. God will take care of the rest, because ultimately, truth, love and justice will prevail. Here are some points for our personal reflection. Does your prayer to the Lord consist in a simple relationship of the Father to the Son, in which you find all that is needed to communicate with God? When you listen to the word of Jesus, do you feel seized by his teaching like the crowds who hung from his words? Are you sufficiently attentive to listen to the gospel and do you adhere to Christ? These points can be of great help to reflect on today's gospel. And if you like our reflection, do share the good news of our Lord. Have a good day. And may God bless you all. Amen.